Oh, it's so much fun. It was, uh, I think it started uh, for Liam's birthday. They uh, got a group of people together uh, and said, come on, we're all gonna go play D&D. And I was going through some terrible stuff at the time. And I said, I'm not gonna do that. So uh, they started playing and then years later, uh, Felicia Day started up Geek and Sundry, I think. And they said, she said, why don't you come and play? I think she and Ashley Johnson were friends. So why don't you come and play on uh, Geek and Sundry? Okay, you know, and then it just snowballed into this and they asked me to come on and I just picked, I, was like, I looked at the group and I'd been watching it for a long time. And I said, what does the group not have? said, well, Vox Machina doesn't have a warlock and uh, doesn't have a tiefling. So actually it was a tiefling first. And I was like, well, what's a good tiefling? What's the best thing? And they're like, a warlock. I was like, good, because I want to cast some spells. But I didn't know what I was doing. I'd never played before. And Matt threw me in at like level nine. You know, I'm like, I don't know. I know, level That's nine warlock? Steep. That's deep, yeah. right? Uh, or maybe it was seven. I can't remember. But still, it was way too much, you know, thank goodness I didn't know any better because I, I was terrified. And I didn't realize that you become so obsessed with it. I spent a week dreaming of how I was going to get through the frost giants so that we could get to Rhyme Fang, this white dragon, you know? And I remember being and directing in the same studio that Sam was and I was like, Sam, can I cast Mass Suggestion on Ice Giants? Can we talk about this? What's happening? And he's just, I said, is this what your life is like? And he said, yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Some more than others, but yeah, you start having like D and D dreams, and all the time you're just like, I just want. Where am I going? You know, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna get out of this? And I, I remember coming home from work one day, and she was sitting on the couch, and she had the books and papers all around her, yeah. and she was really upset. And I said, Honey, what's wrong? And she goes, It's the frost giants. I don't know how to get past them. And how are what are you get talking past about? The frost what are you talking? Are are you dreaming? Uh, yeah, it was it was very funny. She got way obsessed you went down the rabbit hole i did yeah i did and now i've spent mortgage payments on dice yeah pretty much thanks laura bailey yeah so <laughs> <laughs> all the dice all the dice yeah, yeah it's yeah. so much fun it's it's the only thing we've ever created that's ours yeah completely 100 percent our creation nobody else said oh well maybe this you know it's just like no this is and they change the more you play them so like mm -hmm. human beings or, or any character changes the more you've or set in different situations. You, you're based upon your actions and you come up with those decisions right in the moment. Uh, it's kind of an amazing thing. Yeah. You know? Well, I think it was good for your self-confidence too. When she became a dragon slayer, everything changed. It did. My whole life changed. Jeez. I've had yeah. cards made up now. Dragon slayer and then I pencil in and beholder. And beholder, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. really fun. It's pretty fun. Yeah, so we started our own campaign recently. Mm -hmm. And personal level or? started at level one personal. Yeah, level one, yeah. which was great. Which yeah. was great. But we have this great eclectic group of people. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a couple guys from Boy Meets World. Yep. Uh, Will Friedell. Yeah. And um, Ryder's brother Shiloh. And Ryder Shiloh Strong. Yeah, Ryder Strong was on. He had to leave. Yeah. He couldn't continue the campaign. He's anymore. too busy for us. Children. Children, whatever. Priorities. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and we had uh, Jen Muro. Jen Muro is one of the writers yes. of Forces of Destiny. Yeah, the new she's Star amazing. Wars and show. we have Logic, the the rap artist, who's become Bobby one of our Hall. dear friends, yeah. who's playing D and D with us. Amazing. Yeah, and, and Brian, Brian Foster, Foster. Yeah, who's just who is the the uh, Talks Machina? He is the host of Talks Machina. Yeah, and a genius writer in mm. his own right. Haha. -ha. Yeah. But it's so <laughs> you've got a really eclectic group of people that come up with things and you surprise each other and you laugh and you get invested in the characters and it's it's living another life through yeah. improvisation and through communal world building. Uh, and I just think that's fantastic. So, and I understand now why people would do this at a very young age because it's a great way to be creative with people who are like you or maybe not like you and you get to basically live a life and make decisions at a much more accelerated pace than you do in the real world. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think it affects who you are. I really do. I think it mm -hmm. affects who you are as a person. Life and death decisions in some cases. Yeah, yeah, you're forced to evaluate your own decisions immediately and just wing it, basically. Yeah. Which is all we're doing I, anyway. I love that D&D players are getting respect now. Yeah, me too. I love that. Yes. Some... We walked into, uh, we went to the, the Ren Fair last weekend and the whole Critical Role group, we all went. And in costume. In costume. And uh, this guy who was one of the volunteers just came up to, uh, to Travis and Laura and said to Travis, they gave him a big hug, recognized him immediately and just said, thank you for what you guys have done for our community. 
because everybody except for Matt and Taliesin, and maybe Marisha, were newcomers, brand new to D&D. &D. So to have someone that's like, who said, I have been playing my whole life in the shadows, and now we can come out into the sun. Mm -hmm. I was like, wow, that's yeah. amazing. We're leading a nerd army. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. And that they don't resent yeah. that it wasn't them, that it's these newbies coming along yeah. and doing like, we don't know what we're doing, we're just voice actors, yeah. you know? And thanks to Matt Mercer and the genius of Matt, who has really created this world that everybody's playing in. Yeah. It's amazing, at least for Vox Machina, you know? Yeah. Here's to the DMs out there that can create something that is so, Brilliant and amazing. I, I, I would find that to be such a daunting thing to do. I, I am in awe of our DM, Larry. Mm -hmm. Larry yeah. Lawrence. Oh my god. We have god. a lawyer as our DM, so you can't talk him out of anything. Yeah. Actually, you can, <laughs> which is good. He's like, all right, tell me what you think. I mean, it's like, let's hear it. You know, so you realize, shoot, I got my charisma needs to be at twenty right now for me to, you know, just get beyond whatever well, this is. I think he wants us to dig our own holes too. He's, he does. He's so funny. We'll come up with these outlandish ideas and go. Okay, see what you can do with that. Yeah. Go. Mm -hmm. And I, really? Oh God, now I really gotta do it. It's, it's great, it's a great challenge for us, it's fun. Yeah. And there was a stampede, and you have a moment where it's like, are we running away from something or towards something, yeah. you know? And they were running because on stage was, was George Lucas and Harrison Ford had just made a surprise entrance.